Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video we'll be talking about top 5 most important interview topics related to Salesforce flows. Salesforce flows are very important interview topic when it comes to a Salesforce developer interview as well as Salesforce administrator interview because it's an admin topic but it is uh, more for the developers developer works a lot on the salesforce flows and uh, uh, so it's a, it's a link between salesforce admin and salesforce developer so it's a very important interview topic so i have noted down top five most important interview questions related to the salesforce flows and i call this this is my thinking brain i keep this short diary uh, wherever i go so that every time i get an idea about the interview question of the day or any any of the video ideas i uh, put it here so i'll quickly walk you through all the five topics and then at the end we'll talk about couple of additional topics as well okay so in the beginning in any interviews related to salesforce developer or admin when they talk about flows first they will try to understand what kind of flows you have created what kind of flows you have worked on have you ever worked on flows or not and then based on your response they will be asking you a question so first topic or first question you can say is going to be the fundamental questions on types of flows you have worked on here if you have worked on record triggered flow screen flow platform event triggered flow schedule flow try to explain those flows try to explain the business scenarios because that answer will define the next questions as well and then there will be a couple of cross questions they are going to ask flow is a very important topic so make sure if you are not getting um, any work related to flows in your project then try to do it on your own through various learning websites available one such site is automationchampion.com where you'll be getting a lot of flows related scenario so first question in most of the scenarios will be theoretical interviewer will try to understand what kind of flows you have created so that he can further ask questions from flow then there is a very important interview question how do you decide between triggers and flow let's say you get a process automation request how do you decide whether you should use flow or whether you should use trigger that is also very often asked interview question all these questions are based on the interviews my students give and then they provide those questions and then we discuss those questions among ourselves so i'm not adding anything on my own these are from the real interviews only deciding between triggers and flow is a very important interview question and when they say this they are talking about the record record flow not the screen flow because we compare screen flow with the lwc and record record flows with the uh, triggers okay so there are comparison between triggers and flows when to choose flow when to choose trigger when what things we can do with flow cannot do with triggers versus what we can do in flow cannot do with triggers those all kind of videos i have already covered on my youtube channel you can check my youtube channel you'll be getting but this is a very important interview topic where you'll have to explain as a developer or as an admin why you prefer flow sometimes why you prefer uh, my only suggestion here is do not select one tool like like do not say that you like doing something in flow more than apex or you like doing something in apex more than flow it's all about and it's all depends on your requirement and whether that requirement can easily be done via flow or via apex okay so it's not about tool it depends on what is the situation what is the requirement and which tool will fit the requirement better it's not about whether that tool will be able to do it or not both they, they can be situations where flow and trigger both will be able to do something then it depends on which tool will do it more efficiently so try to do a comparative analysis in such kind of questions okay do not be very selective about no i'm a developer so i prefer apex or i get more control over apex i agree I agree we get more control over epics but client does not care about you getting control on your code client is worried about just the requirement so they don't care whether you get more control or not they want that thing to be done okay so think it from the client's point of view as well then uh they, they can be couple of questions related to async path in flow and schedule flow like uh, you have to send an email every time an opportunity about to be closed three days before that or there is an a there is an async path available in that flow 
uh, what the purpose of this what we can do in that async path there were a couple of uh, scenario based questions on that uh, asked from my students so that is our topic or you can say question number three async path and schedule flow then there can be couple of questions on debugging flows okay major uh, limitations and debugging flow is the fourth topic debugging questions we get a lot because debugging is quite complex in flow compare it to apex uh, because uh, in apex it is very easy to put the debug logs and then get the results of it but in flow we have a separate debug option and sometimes it feels tedious to do debugging on that so few people include uh, this in flows limitation that it is very hard to do the debugging in flows or sometimes tedious or sometimes it is uh, not uh, not accurate as well okay so limitations and debugging is one of the interview question you will get in the flows a lot i have uh, i've seen it multiple times many of my students have seen it limitations as in what you cannot do in flow why will you not choose flow over certain uh, certain uh, in certain situation over triggers uh, one very common limitation is that uh, you cannot create maps in flows so it if you have to iterate over multiple objects in the nested loops and all it will be really difficult your flow will it's not like you cannot do that you'll be able to do that but you'll have to iterate through so many loops and create and assign values to so many list variables it will look very uh, tedious okay so there are a couple of limitations as well <clears throat> make sure you go through them <clears throat> all right and then uh, because flow is a growing space there will be a couple of questions related to flows on latest features available on flows in uh, flows uh, in flows you you'll get so many different types of new features coming every release in salesforce so make sure that when you are giving your interview and whatever latest release you have gone through uh, what were the what were the additions happened on that flow space because sometimes interviewer do uh, do ask those things and if you know that it will be very impressive okay and these are the top five topic and then on top of that we do get sometimes questions related to uh, flow orchestrator what is flow orchestrator how it is different from normal flows it's a complete process then you may get couple of questions on what are the platform event triggered flow how can you publish a platform event how can you subscribe a platform event those type of questions are very important we have already covered it in our video you can go through that in my channel and uh, sometimes you get questions related to order of execution and uh, interviewer specifically wants to know where will flow comes in where will before flow comes in where will after flow comes in so make sure you do that and then uh, one more additional topic is uh, deployment uh, let's say they can give you situations like let's say there are multiple developers working on a single flow on their own sandboxes how will you make sure that they are not overriding changes of each other so flow does provide version control and try to explain that uh, uh, sometimes it does require a couple of uh, uh, let's say there are multiple people working on the same flow in the same environment then they do need to communicate even offline as well to make sure that they are not overriding changes of each other so these are kind of uh, questions some questions are related to the callouts from flow can we do callouts from flow uh, what are special things we need to do can we call the apex classes from flow and can we get data back in flow from apex class both are possible we have a whole dedicated video for that so these are the major uh, interview topics related to flow i want you to make sure that you know all of these questions if you want me to explain any questions further if you want me to explain the answer of any further questions just do ping me and i'll try to make a separate video or maybe explain it in the comment section thank you